I've had a question come in from my community. Key, I've recently split up with my narcissistic partner of eight years. However, what I am discovering is that my mum and older sister are two very difficult personalities. And when I set boundaries, it's really difficult to uphold. I'm trying to have a relationship with them. I love them very much, but my older sister seems to be the problem. She's always causing triangulation between me and my younger sister. She plays us off against each other and has been doing so for years. I'm the middle child, so I guess I'm caught in the middle. Just not quite sure how to set boundaries for the short term and in the long run. Long message, but thank you. Well, listen, my sister. Firstly, you need to know that you are in what is called a drama triangle. And if you want to know more about a drama triangle, have a Google. But fundamentally, the basic fundamentals are is there's the victim, the persecutor and the rescuer. Middle child, eldest child, whichever place you occupy, you need to work out what place you are in the drama triangle. My assumption being that you're an empath is that you often play the rescuer. If this is, have helped you, just inbox me. Maybe we need a call. But fundamentally, you may need to learn to observe the dynamics rather than being caught up in that dynamic. You need to stop feeling a responsibility to rescue. You need to start thinking about the ways that you will best protect yourself. Now, boundaries, you've done all your research. I say this time and time again. Boundaries, biggest issue for empaths with boundaries is that firstly, you're going to struggle with guilt. And again, because you're a soft touch, you won't have any consequences. So what's the point in having boundaries? Because people violate and then they come back and you allow it to happen again. What often happens is, is a big issue for me, empath crew, is we end up colluding in the foolishness, the careers, and it's not great for your greatness. Now, I know for many of us, we have an idealized view in our mind's eye of how it should be. But the reality is, Many empaths who realize they're with a narcissistic partner, when they do the inner work, they soon start to realize that other people, to a lesser degree, are playing on those dynamics. Often, not always. I hasten to add, if you're with a narcissistic individual, often there's been a bag of narcissism going on in your family of origin. You have to check it. My curiosity for you is, are you on your own? Are you doing any inner work? Do you have a therapist? If not, do consider joining my community, Navigate Narcissism Now, where we are coming together to look at the common challenges empaths face and how best to find a way to protect yourself. You see, the reality is it's your duty to protect yourself. And it can be very painful when we realize the same foolishness is going on in our family of origin. This is a life challenge for you. You are being challenged and we will all be being challenged. But fundamentally, self-protection is a must. And maybe you've gone as far as you can on your own. So check out the drama triangle. Usually empath's dominant role is the rescuer. And you have to work out whether you still want to play that role. But remember, when you make yourself redundant from the role that your family have assigned you, there is likely to be a backlash. And that isn't always pretty. That can hurt. But it's actually better for you in the long run because it means you free yourself from the toxicity. Any problems, questions, queries, if you're ready to sign up for Navigate Narcissism Now, inbox me. You are not alone, but you've probably gone as far as you can on your own. And for you to elevate, to move up, to manifest a different life, a healthy life, where you pursue your ambitions, your goals and dreams, you may need a new way to think, do and be for your own growth and involvement. Makes sense? Any questions? Go to my bio. Peace.